Hey yo guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This video here today marks, I think, pretty much now our official start for our move. Yes, we are moving again, um, but don't worry, we are staying in the Okanagan. <laughs> no, we're just moving out of our current apartment and now my battery is almost dead. One second. All right, now we're back at 100%. And look who just woke up from her nap too. Say hi, YouTube. <laughs> this is going to be Lona's first move into a new home. For myself, it's, I think, the ninth move. Yeah, I move quite a bit. Oh, oh you're so cuddly, I know. Mm. Uh, within Canada, we initially moved to Toronto, then to London, then again within London. <laughs> Sorry, guys, like, look at her. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, from Toronto to London, then London, Ontario, then within London, Ontario, we moved again, then from London, Ontario to Kelowna, and now from Kelowna to West Kelowna, actually. Um, yeah, and then a couple of more times within Germany before we even came to Canada. Right, maybe. Yeah. So, yeah, we basically pretty much almost move once a year. We are pretty relaxed about our move. I'm not sure if it's because we are used to moving so often or just because we were so incredibly busy with work and didn't really had the chance to get nervous about it. So today is Friday and we're moving on Monday. Like the truck officially comes on Monday. So well, we're renting a U-Haul truck. So we're picking up the truck on Monday to move and we really didn't pack anything yet. Like these guys here, hold on, let me turn you around. Um, in my previous videos, you've already saw that we have decoration up there and like class in there and whatnot. So things like that we already packed and we also emptied out the garage already. Oh, let me show you guys. <laughs> Let there be light. So yeah, bike is still here, flag is still hanging. I'm sorry if it echoes too much now. Anyways, we had like shelving all the way up here, which is already gone, as well as like a little storage desk and then even more stuff from the corner here. These things we already uh, brought to a storage unit that we also rented. Well, basically we got it for free because we were renting a Yule truck. <laughs> Look who's waiting for me upstairs. Huh? Say hi. <laughs> She's so upset now because I, I think I woke her up from her nap. <laughs> so yeah, in general we are... <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh. Hi, big stretch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, she also does this recently. So I can sc scratch her bum. This is the best scratch, huh? <laughs> um, so yeah, just little things we already had the chance to like bring with the car to West Kelowna. Oh, what? Sorry, I stopped petting her, how dare I? Whoa, 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 guys, if you made it so far yet, consider sm giving this video a big thumbs up and smash the subscribe button for me because it's going to help me and my channel out tons. And just because it's getting basically a year now, so it's an anniversary on our move, I will have the link to the videos of our move from London, Ontario to Kelowna up here in the corner, I think up there, <laughs> uh, for you to also check out. I just can't believe how that's already a year. Okay, anyways, let's keep rolling. Kitchen, we didn't even start yet. Clothing, we didn't start yet. We started on the dining room a little bit. Well, at least halfway, because we didn't really use it. Anyways, so we kind of de-assembled the table, but that's pretty much it. So we're safe to say it's going to be crazy. But we did, like I said, we had so much work and are still having so much work to do in the sense of like from the professional side, so actually our day jobs, that we just didn't have time yet to do more than that. But that's also why I look so incredibly tired because I am yeah, incredibly tired. But this weekend we really kind of have to hustle through. Um, but also keep working because Andy's an accountant, so tax season is full up and running. So <laughs> there's really not much time we actually have to move. So 
it's going to be quick but intense, I guess. The only good thing really is even though we have the truck on Monday and we can get into our new apartment on Monday, it doesn't mean that we cannot still stay here in this apartment. So we have this apartment here until April 30th, um, which then means that we have basically about a week time to like still wrap up a couple of things, like clean proper. If we forgot something, we can take it with us, but it's gonna be relatively relaxed. Right, honey? <laughs> Am I boring you? <laughs> she is, by the way, uh, about eight and a half months old now. When it comes to the moving part, I don't think that she understands what's happening. She sniffs around the box a little bit, but doesn't seem to be very disturbed by it. So I think that's a good sign. But I'm really curious to see how she's going to hold up in the new place. Right? <laughs> right? Right? You're such a needy dog. Okay, let's make some coffee. It of course tastes better when it comes out of the Harley Davidson cup, right? Makes sense. <laughs> Someone is showing me the way to the pantry where her cookie treats are in it. Oh, I apologize. It's so dark. Do you want that one? Well, sit. Good girl. <laughs> Every time she gets a treat, she goes to her bed so she can eat it in peace and quiet. No, we have not taught her that. She just did it from her, like, just by herself. So I still have a little bit of work to do. So this is also whatever is left over for our office. <laughs> so it's not as cozy anymore as it initially was. Anyways, I still have to work a little bit. Oh, no, no idea where I just found it, it pointed to. Anyways, I still have to work a little bit and then probably start packing. Uh, any, yeah. One definitely plus, like positive point about the fact that we still have the apartment basically for an entire week before we really have to get out of here completely. Or like, we have a week of overlapping. You know, you know what I mean. Uh, we can leave Lona here for our initial trip when we are taking all the big furniture pieces within the truck to West Carolina. That means she's not in the way, she's not getting stressed out too much. She can still have her pillow here, her toys to make her feel comfortable. And well, same thing with the bike. So you can go with the truck and the car, but leave Lona and the bike here. And then when we drop off the truck again, we will come back to bring Lona and the bike with us to Escalona as well. So we'll see how all that works. And the we will, well, we will definitely keep you guys with us. We will take you with us. I apologize. It's a Friday. It's late. I'm tired. But I hope you still know what I'm talking about. Um, basically what I wanted to say is we will take you definitely with us. At the time when you see this video, we actually already moved. If you want to have a little bit more like a live update kind of scenario, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I will be way more up to date there. And we just, like, like I said, we will take you guys with us. And the next video will be a little bit more about us actually packing it all up. <laughs> and unpacking it again. Anyways, thank you so guys so much for watching and please make sure you give this video actually a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you didn't do it yet. And we will see each other with the next video. <laughs> Bye.